Hello everyone, it's time to start. <clears throat> Welcome to this session, I'm glad to see you. Uh, before the start of the session, I'd like to explain myself. I'm Shinsuke Mie, I'm uh, belonging to Ego in Japan. I usually work for the Embedded Linux and some system software and some network drivers. Recently, I write some infinite band and RDM code. Okay, and today I'd like to explain, uh, uh, to share the, our recent works. That is, uh, Barayo, the PCI endpoint function using Linux PCI endpoint frameworks. Okay, let's begin. This slide shows the agenda. First of all, I'd like to explain the introduction to get the background knowledge. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, there is a virtual I.O. It is sometimes usually called virtual I.O. It is designed for communication between the hypervisor and the guest operating system. And it is the agnostic hypervisor and operating system. And this is a uh, no transport layout, and uh, it's also provide uh, devices, uh, for example, network cards, block devices, and the console, GP, and so on. And uh, the, this battery will provide uh, efficient mechan mechanisms to communicate, communicate guests and the hypervisor. It is called BART-Q, or building. And it is open standard and uh, maintained by OSIS. And next is uh, Linux PCI endpoint framework. It is one of the uh, subsystem Linux. It is used to make Linux run on the PCI endpoint. And uh, it is used to expose a software defined PCI endpoint function instead of the hardware. <coughs> <clears throat> that is usually called, uh, in the subsystem, we, we, we call the EPF, Endpoint Function Driver. And this framework supports PCI transaction from the software. Uh, it supports the memory read, write, uh, PCI transaction from endpoint. And the Configuration, read and write the response from the root complex access. And some, we can uh, send the interrupt from the endpoint function drivers. Uh, um, uh, below figure shows the simple structure of the using the APF and the APF function driver. Uh, there are two Linux hosts, left hand has a uh, PCI controller, and light, uh, another host has a PCI endpoint controller, and connected it with the PCI, um, PCI, co uh, PCI code, and <clears throat> endpoint function driver, if you wrote and run on the right host, uh, that shows this figure, and in this case, if you execute and type the LSPCI on the left side, you can see the device and the function that you wrote as a right side EPF drivers. It's a basic concept. Uh, next is an uh, uh, overview of the PCI endpoint framework and the relationship between uh, other components. Uh, Bluebox is a PCI endpoint framework. This framework abstracts the uh, PCI endpoint controller, the hardware, and the private API to PCI endpoint function, endpoint function drivers. So, uh, I'd like to explain to understand more about the PCI endpoint framework and the PCI endpoint function driver. Uh, I'll show you an example of the 
drivers, it is PCI EPF test. It is upstream called to Linux. It is used to, usually it is used to verify and connectivity and the functionality of PCI endpoint and PCI root complex. By this driver, we can test the uh, some interrupt types and the payload size, uh, transportation, and uh, which uh, bars uh, we can use, and uh, uh, both of trans uh, transport directions. Sure, it is a piece of endpoint function, so we need to uh, control the uh, this function, uh, uh, PCI, uh, PCI device driver, it is also upstream and uh, called the PCI endpoint test in the MISC uh, compared with uh, uh, before us, right? There is a uh, APF, PCI APF test function driver and uh, uh, PCI endpoint test driver. Over the PCI, each other communicate and uh, test the functionality and the connectivity. Already, there are two upstreaming endpoint function drivers. One is a PCI APF test that I explained in before slide. And another, another one is PCI APF NTV function driver is uh, act as a non-transparent bridge of, it is, a, uh, it is called NTV. We can use to, uh, to start, sorry. We can use this module to establish the bidirectional communication between ROC and EP. However, NTV mechanism is not suitable for bulk transfer. So let's into the uh, proposal. Oops. Uh, to get the uh, efficient is a communication between the two hosts over the PCIe. We need to uh, propose a new driver because there is no driver in current to exist. Uh, in this proposal, we used the battery device to expose a uh, 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 PCI endpoint function. There is a reason why that why we select. One of the reasons is efficient mechanisms uh, to transfer each other because it is cause of the bad Q structure and. Uh, <clears throat> And also is design and uh, battery design to the uh, emitting software. Usually, uh, is implemented in the hypervisor. It is the same scenario between the hypervisor and the EPF driver. EPF driver also emit the uh, behavior, the, the defined behavior in software. Or uh, I drag to explain the previous work, already someone proposed the uh, uh, same things they want to expose the PCI battery net function drivers. One of the Haoshen's uh, uh, work is exist. Sorry, I'm not sure the name of translation, if it's, if it's my incorrect. He's also pro uh, proposed a battery net endpoint function driver. Uh, as a if dry, uh, sorry, uh, it is key point of this his proposal is uh, expose uh, Bionet device to the both host, uh, not only the root complex side. This figure shows the, his work of overview. Uh, in his proposal, exposing a Bionet device to both host. That means the uh, both host uh, detect a battery device 
and loaded by the virtual device driver, like this figure. Uh, so we, uh, here we can implement the button at the device, uh, network device instead of <laughs> expose the button, button at the device compared with uh, exploring all network device to local host. There are following advantages from the uh, this method, streamline data plane operation, I'll explain next slide. And this method can use the assets of existing button drivers. For instance, uh, a device driver has a, a supports a, an API, and ESA2 supports and the XDP and so on. And this figure shows the focus on the data plane on his proposal. He, uh, he exposed a button device for both hosts. As a result, there are bot queue in each host. So this EPF driver uh, just copy the data between the about queues, corresponding uh, queues. It's a so simple and we can uh, easier, easier understand the right uh, simple code. So I think basic idea of his proposal is reasonable. And unfortunately, the, his proposal is not applied did from nine, uh, 2019. <laughs> and uh, there are some feedbacks are not affected. And moreover, the environment has changed from the uh, 19, uh, 2019. Uh, for example, PCI endpoint framework has uh, changed some architectures and some other uh, kind of API is changed. So, uh, I'd like to redesign his proposal and the world from scratch. Uh, the remaining feedbacks and the obstructions uh, proper issues as his works. I explained the solution of each feedback and the issues. And, the, and the, his design, in his design, it is a monolith, monolithic design. Uh, they are all of code into now one module there's no but uh, your common layer and something like that. So I direct to some layers for battery common code. And the other, for other feedbacks, I addressed the following uh, points for the <laughs> duplicated code. We decide to the uh, property API in this case, I use the billing age and some obsolete APIs for force obsolete API. It, it, it is simple, it just use the newer one or uh, another one. However, last problem is uh, his proposal only support the battery legacy spec, the legacy spec is uh, published uh, one decade ago. And so we try, uh, we try to support a uh, modern spec. Uh, I will explain that, but I couldn't solve the problem. It is discussed in the issue section in this slide. 
Anyway, I'll rest to the uh, explanation of the proposed architecture from us. This is a revised architecture which has been redesigned to address the feedbacks and the modernization from APIs from, uh, for environment. This APF driver has two clearly separated modules. Uh, we've separated the uh, battery handling for remote and local environment. Uh, there is not right to device specific code. So the device specific code is only on the uh, central uh, managed EPF driver. Oh, uh, first, I direct to explain and begin with the BAT IO PCI EPF modules. It is connect. It is connected to the local host but a net device a driver. This module has helped us to emulate but a device for local host uh, on the local host to realize the emulation following functions are required. And this module cover the first of two event handlings in this case, that event is uh, read, write, uh, configuration spaces, um, and some device data and features, and notification from the drivers. Uh, but a PC EPF provides, uh, uh, sorry, uh, for the last one, that is not covered from the uh, this module, but if you say EP12, uh, if your driver just access the region because it's in the kernel memory and the others can be got from the particular operation, so there is no need to cover the, uh, there is no need to provide a special method and a special functions. And next is a focus to the event handling of the PCI, about the PCI and EPF. In the local host, the device is not physical, physical device, it is a virtual device. Because of this, the event handling are, I think, are quite simple. Uh, all of each, uh, all of events are uh, transmitted as a function call via TC, um, but uh, your transport layer. So we just set a callback to the property structure. Uh, in this case, but I transport is a rationalization for but I so, oh, sorry. Ah, oh, sorry. This module provides the API to set up object PCI transport properly, and if we set the uh, proper call box, so we can get all of the events from the uh, from drivers. And after that, if the driver can receive the event and works. Uh, emulate the device, but a device. Now, second is a barbecue operation. Uh, in the battery transport layer has a barbecue. It is allocated in this module. Uh, the for the if if driver the, uh, we need to make a mechanism to, to access the BAT queue. So this BAT IPCA will just provide a willing API, willing object that can be used to the EPF drivers. And then EPF driver 
uh, freely access the bar Q and control it. And uh, I, I, I didn't explain about the reading age. It is an uh, in-kernel host help us to operate a bar Q located on the, some memory regions. For example, kernel spaces, user spaces, separate trans related through the IoTV spaces. Uh, but if we say before, allocate the bar Q in the kernel space, so we just used the uh, reading edge for kernel space to access via the reading edge API. And next one is uh, ah, sorry, up to here, all of the things we need to emulate the device is obtained. As a result, the IPF driver can now emulate any devices as desired. Uh, from here, I explained about IO PCI IPF module. And next, I'll dig into the PCI IPF about IO. The naming is a little bit confusing, but I just follow the naming rule for the each subsystem. So there are different subsystems. Uh, so uh, each module is located to different subsystems. But PCI EPF is located to the battery subsystems, and PCI EPF battery IO is located on the endpoint subsystems and called as a library. Okay, let's study. Let's continue. The PCI EPF battery is help us to expose PCI battery device to root complex. It is used with a PCI endpoint framework. Likewise, the battery PCI EPF, uh, PCI EPF, this function also necessary for the EPF driver to be able to uh, emulate a battery device. Re regarding the previous top of two points, PCI EPF battery provide and Russell realized by using a PCI endpoint framework. So I explained the event handling and the battery, uh, battery operations details. This is a little bit tricky. The event register uh, located memory space on endpoint. So root complex uh, battery driver access to the register over the PCI. However, uh, currently the PCI endpoint controller has no capability to detect the access from the root complex. So, <coughs> uh, we use the pouring the origin continuously with another thread with high, high uh, uh, row noise. Uh, I mean, you know, this causes some problems that I explain later. Also, not perfect event can be detected through the polling. So let's continue to explain. Next is a uh, bad uh, key operation that is placed on LAM on the root complex host to access the bad to queue from the endpoint control endpoint side. Uh, memory mapping is needed to the local host from the access yes, uh, from CPU accessing. Oh, sorry. The uh, mapping uh, capability has a PCI endpoint controller. Actually, memory access to the region, memory mapped region, is trans trans translated 
by the PCI endpoint to controller to PCI transaction and reach to the RAM on the root complex, root complex side. Because of the reason, the memory map region is, I am, uh, this is a memory map region. So we need to access carefully uh, the bar key is uh, on the IO memory map memory. There is no way in the kernel, uh, if uh, my understanding is correct. So I uh, extended the billing edge to the IO memory. The billing edge has a core code is not related to the accesses, so we can easily extend it. And uh, I don't touch the core code. Country, it is looks work well. I'm oh, sorry, this expression that I explained. Uh, I, I explain, I extend the uh, ring edge to uh, ring edge and the uh, other access for the IO memory map regions. Uh, as a result, we can, sorry. As well as we can get uh, all of the component to realize the uh, bar to inet endpoint function. Uh, I prefer two, uh, up, up two uh, above two modules that is used to other uh, battery devices, not only bar to inet, In this context, I use the scalability is the module can reuse to another button and device, another devices to get, uh, represent it. And battery PCI PF and the PCI PF battery are implemented as a device independent. It means that the module is able to reuse the implement as a button device if it drivers. And the intended use cases for this help us uh, I say there's a uh, symmetric devices. It means the present uh, same button de battery device to the both side. It can be, uh, is the next when PCI button at endpoint function driver. And another one is asymmetric devices. It, it is not present, the same device to the boss host. And I explain the symmetric pattern. This is a one example to realize the battery console and communicate each two host with, uh, with the modules that I introduced. The figure is almost same with, same as uh, battery net device that I explained. But internet design is a little bit different. The EPF driver shows a uh, PCI battery net console device to root complex using the PCI EPF by to IO module. And for the local host also shows the battery console device, console device using battery PCI EPF. The difference between the battery net and this, this architecture is device specific part only. So 
we can easily write uh, another virtual device endpoint function with these with those modules. And next one is an asymmetric device example. Uh, this is a uh, uh, this is used to used the battery block device. Instead of the console of network, there are uh, uh, one directional queues. It is called the uh, request queue. So we couldn't expose the local device, local button device, and handle the request from the root complex. However, uh, we can use the PCIP button, PCIP button modules. This allows us to expose the device to root complex. So just expose the block devices and the uh, request handling is needed. After here, I explain the, our proposed mo proposing modules and how to use it. And next is our issues that I faced. There are two issues. First one is PC capability, and the second one is memory access flux. The first one is a uh, cause from the confliction between the battery specification and the PCI endpoint control functionality. Because battery specification requires battery PCI capability. This is custom capability for battery However, PCI EPC controller has no capability to has no function to expose a custom PCI capability. So we couldn't expose a battery device. Uh, to avoid this problem, uh, the previous research used a uh, legacy spec of battery IO. It is, need, it is not needed the PCI capability. At least the modern battery spec required to expose the Four and five uh, capabilities. It, so it, it is one of the problem. And the second, in, second issue is uh, memory access hook. But if the device need to detect a memory access to uh, base address register region, for it is used for driver to device notifications, some configuration accesses read write. Uh, because there is no uh, there is no way to hook the memory access from root complex because there is no hardware function of the endpoint controller. So in the software you use to the polling method instead of the uh, hooking mechanisms. It is, may cause some problems. In principle, an endpoint function driver can't detect read access by polling and uh, the driver can't uh, write access with same data. And the final one is write access to, uh, write, ac write accesses with same address Successively, it might uh, couldn't detect. It depends on the situation, but fully uh, the APC can't fully detect the success successively access for the solution that I explained the issues. Simplicity, uh, there are two solutions I think. Uh, one is the uh, extend the battery specification to avoid issues. For example, uh, the battery device does not require to expose the PCI capability 
or no need to hook mechanisms. And we, I'm discussing with uh, PC Endpoint Framework maintainers. It is working in progress. And second wise, uh, ex expect the hardware to support the, to expose the uh, custom capa PCI capability and to enable the memory fork accesses. So uh, we direct to, uh, I direct to solve with any method in the future. This is final slide and conclusion. I'm, we are proposing a PCI endpoint botnet function driver, which is enables the communication between two hosts of a PCIe effectively. Uh, communication effectively by the battery mechanisms. And we also introduced uh, two modules. Uh, one is the PCI APF battery or can be used to uh, expose any battery or devices, not only battery net. In this, in this case, we used for the battery net. <coughs> and the battery PCI EPF can, EPF can be used to implement symmetric battery device it is uh, effective for console, battery console, uh, battery socket devices, and so on. And uh, however, there are a few critical issues to address and uh, to realize the PCI battery devices. One is the PCI PF and the battery spec confliction. There is no way to expose the PCI capability by hardware about spec required it. And second is a uh, ability of failure to detect memory access to endpoint controller from root complex. Uh, explicitly, the hook is required, but is not supported by the controller. So this is end of this my presentation. Thank you for listening. Do you have any comment, suggestion, or something like that? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, Yes. So, how do you handle the case if the memory, the mapping offset is different? So, how do you handle the wearing? So, how do you handle the wearing descriptors if the virtual address is different? What is what is, is sorry, so what, what do you is map the battery chart region to the local host? Yeah. So, since the mapping may not be at the same offset as as the RC, so the winning descriptor address uh, for the memory. So you have to, uh, how do you access that same uh, data uh, on the other side? Oh. The, you mentioned that the, uh, how to access that payload. Yes. That uh, pointed by the bus queue. Yes. So, uh, sorry, I explained, I, I didn't explain in this slide. That is needed ma mapping. So, read a bot queue and uh, detect the address of the payload and try to same thing, map to the, the payload region to the local memory and access by CPU. Or we can use the DMA PCA controller has a DMA controller, so we can just use the address that is because the DMA 
DM controller acts over the PCI bus to host, host RAM directory. I cleared the <laughs> So basically, there is no data inside the IO yes, memory map. Yes, there is no data. Okay. So okay. we Thank need to map or use the DMA okay. in the PC control. Thank you. Thank you for your question. If there is no question, I'd like to finish this session. Okay. Thank you for coming and uh, have a good lunch. Thank you.